In this video, I'll show you how to create recipe schema for recipes on your WordPress website so your recipes have a better chance of showing up in the search results. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. If we do a quick search here for duck recipe, we can see a bunch of different results, especially these results here in the beginning for recipes. And we can see they have an image of the recipe. This one has some reviews, star ratings for the recipe. So does this one, as well as the time that the recipe would take to prepare, three hours and 20 minutes, and some of the ingredients. Now, if we scroll down the page a little bit, we can see this result also has ratings and the time. And in fact, this search engine result page for duck recipe is loaded with recipe schema. Practically every result on here has recipe schema included. I have to go to the second page before I get a result without recipe schema. So that should certainly encourage you to include schema on your recipe. Here's one result that does not have schema. And without the recipe schema on the page, there's no image. There's no rating like the one above it has. Uh, there's no time indicated. So it's just a very plain looking listing that probably is not going to get nearly as many clicks as all the listings around it. So the first thing we're going to do is install the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you already have AIO SEO installed, you can skip ahead to the next part of the video using the timestamps below. So let's go ahead and click on plugins and then click on the button that says add new. If you haven't done so already, we're going to want to download the plugin from AIOSEO.com. You're going to go to the account section into your download area and click the big green button that says Download AIO SEO. And if you don't have an account already, you should be able to create one pretty easily. So back on the plugins page of your WordPress website, we're going to go ahead and click the Upload Plugin button, and then click Choose File, and choose the plugin file that you just downloaded. And then click the Install Now button. After the plugin installs, click the blue button that says Activate Plugin. After the plugin installs and is activated, the AIO SEO setup wizard will pop up automatically. We have another video that walks you through these steps, and I highly encourage you to go through that wizard because it will just set up your whole website for success as far as your SEO efforts go. But for now, we're going to head back to the dashboard. And then if you scroll on down the page and click the link, there's a space for us to enter our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. Back on our AIO SEO account, which you can find at aioseo.com slash account, make sure you're on the Downloads tab. And then next to where it says License Key, if you click on the icon, it will copy out our all-in-one SEO Pro license key. And then we're going to paste the license key into the License Key field. Click Connect. And that's it, All-in-One SEO Pro is activated on this website. If you want to be doubly sure, you can go ahead and click the blue Save Changes button. And then we're going to scroll up and click on the Dashboard link, just so we're all on the same page. So now that you have All-in-One SEO installed, let's head on over to the Posts section. I don't actually have any recipe post in my website, but we're going to pretend this how-to post is a recipe post. So in the editor, if I scroll down past my content to the all-in-one SEO settings section, let's go ahead and click on the schema tab. And then we're going to click this blue button that says generate schema. And here's all the different types of schema we have available in our schema catalog, including article, book, event, how-to schema, fact check schema. But for this example, we want recipe schema. So I'm going to click the plus icon and add recipe schema to this page. And then we're taken to this area where we can fill out all the relevant information. For the name, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as post title, but we could use any one of these smart tags here. You can click this link that says view all tags. And there's all kinds of different tags here that we could use, but I'm just going to leave it as post title. For description, I'm just going to leave the post excerpt. I like that. For author, I'm going to use the author of this WordPress post. And then we can start typing in ingredients for our recipe. So I'm going to put in duck, carrots, if I can remember how to spell carrots, potatoes, um, celery, 
and spices. That's a very generic duck recipe. Dish type, we're going to call it main course. For cuisine type, we're going we're gonna to say this is French. For keywords, I'm going to put in duck recipe and duck. And then for image, I'm going to use this image I already have in my media library of this duck. I'm going to use that for the image. For the number of servings, I'm going to put three. It's a very large duck. Total calories per serving, 775. And then for prep time, we're going to add the time in minutes. I'm going to say this is three hours, which would be 180 minutes. Cooking time, uh, let's say it's 65 minutes. And then you can add in step-by-step -step instructions. So I'm going to make one step. Cook the duck. And there's no image for this step. If you wanted to add step-by-step -step instructions, you can click this link that says add another instruction and keep adding as many steps as it takes. So when you're all done here, you're going to go ahead and click the blue button that says add schema. And now my schema has been added to the page. So again, with schema, this is not something you see in the editor here. This is something that the all-in-one SEO schema generator creates, and it creates code that lives behind the page to give your page a chance of showing up as a rich snippet in the Google search results. So after we've got the schema generated and added to the page, we can see that this page has how-to schema and recipe schema. So if this was a recipe and not a how-to page, I would go ahead and delete that how-to schema. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I get prompted, are you sure you want to delete this schema? Yes, I want to delete this schema. And then remember to click the blue update button so that this schema is actually saved to the page. And now the schema has been saved to the page and I have a chance of having a rich snippet show up in the Google search results for my recipe. So that's how to create recipe schema for recipes on your WordPress website. If you don't already have our awesome all-in-one SEO plugin installed, we've got a link to it in the description below this video. It can help you out with the task in this video as well as many other SEO jobs that you might have to do on your WordPress website. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to create product schema for products on your WordPress website. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful WordPress SEO plugin, All-in-One SEO.